the third important part or the third important contribution by the michael porter in positioning school it's its value chain it has provided to the positioning school one analytical tool that was five forces model then the limited choice set of strategies known as generic strategies it also provided the operational suggestion in the shape of value chain now let's see what is porter's value chain you all understand that i have used the word value chain chain and value remember then what ever is produced whatever we consume in the shape of products may it be a mobile phone a shoe a bread a cake butter camera book whatever we use in our life actually this is the product of a chain contributing value mean it's the product of a chain of players at different levels both within the organization and within the industry in which different players contribute the value there becomes a chain of value and resultantly a value emerges which is supplied to the customer the porter has offered the value chain within a firm you can see that there are uh, two major divisions there is the one division upstream known as sport activities then there is uh, downside you see the division which is primary activities to porter in an organization the activities are divided into two parts one are the generic activities known as support activities including form infrastructure human resource management technology development and procurement and the second domain of activities is about the primary activities and you see that these are organized in the shape of a chain there are inbound logistics which are concerned with the buying of the raw material then there are operations concerned with converting a raw material into the finished products then there is outbound logistics which are concerned with making the product available for sale then there is sales and marketing the role of it is to actually find out the customer for the product or try to provide the product to the relevant customers and there is services the role of it is to provide the after sale services according to porter the each activity in the value chain contribute a value to the net value to the total value which is then in the shape of margin you see that value is there offered to the customer and very important thing is in porter's view or in the positioning school the value chain or its nature depends on the generic strategy you take if you take cost leadership as your generic strategy you will try to have your organization or nature of your value chain accordingly for example if your strategy is cost leadership you will try to save money in all the support activities you will use relatively low cost infrastructure maybe using the high technology of saving cost and same you will try to do in the different activities of your value chain this is how actually the products are produced under the value chain concept thank you very much